Welcome back to Tic Tech. My name's Petru. Today we're going to be looking at cookie hijacking and um, and how that works. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to note that it's been a little while since I posted um, uh, a video, and I did notice that there's a couple of videos that I did previously um, using. Um, brute forcing tools and denial of service tools and stuff like that that uh that got taken down uh i think maybe because i'm not putting enough emphasis on educational purposes so i just want to stress that everything that i do here is for educational purposes and um how that might educate you well i guess uh it gives you a bit of an idea on on how vulnerable things might be um particularly like in today's video cookie hijacking so we're learning about what cookies are how they can be um what is hijacking how can you um or why should you be worried about it um how you can protect yourself from it what can be done what do the attackers do what do those hackers do with that information um we all know, you know, use strong passwords and use multi-factor authentication and, um, you know, log out of your browsers when you when you're finished uh, or log out of your websites when you finish using them uh, on a regular basis, things like that. But we're never told why that's important. Um, and I think I'm a strong believer that understanding why you should do something is a very good motive uh, to encourage people to actually do it. Um, you can say, hey, you know, don't speed, um, don't smoke cigarettes, and um, you're told not to do things, but you're not, you're not uh, educated about the consequences and um, what can be involved uh, with doing that. So uh, that's getting a bit off topic. So let's get back on, on topic. So again, this is for educational purposes. This is to show you what dangers are out there um, and why you should um continue uh cyber hygiene practices um and this is also you know for those that might want to demonstrate this in the workplace as well um you you know how to do it uh the reason why i'm doing a cookie hijacking video is because i actually did a uh, a short interview with um another company where i did a, a um you know like a hacking sort of demonstration and uh, I decided to show them the vulnerabilities of the vulnerabilities of uh, cookie hijacking so that's why I just thought you know why not post this on YouTube as well so let's get into it um, so what I have here are a couple of uh, browsers so I've got a Chrome and a Firefox browser here and they're both using this uh, little plugin called cookie editor which is you know free to get uh, you don't actually need cookie editor it just makes this process a lot more easy um, so what happens when we've also got LinkedIn here as well so we've, I've decided to use LinkedIn to, to do this demonstration when you log into a website you might notice that Facebook for example is a is a really good um, uh, scenario or even Twitter uh, there's a few sites out, out there that store your cookies for a very very long time um, particularly uh, websites like Facebook and Twitter um, even LinkedIn so those sites you might notice that when you log into them on a browser you don't ever need to log back into that unless you you know log out um, and that's very good for convenience but it's also a vulnerability because uh, if someone was to get access to your cookies um, so what happens when you sign into facebook for example um, facebook your browser stores a session um, uh, which is uh, enclosed in a cookie and uh, it's got all these you know different ids and you know user ids and uh, authentication keys and all that sort of stuff that's all stored in the browser itself and when you go to facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter next time um, your browser already has a session that's created with that website um, and therefore you don't need to log in again because uh, the timeout for that is I'm not even sure if they've got a timeout or if they do it's years um, so what can happen what what's what's the worst that can happen um, you might click on a link 
you might um, get some sort of malware. Uh, someone might even plug a malicious USB into your computer or your device. Uh, there's a few different ways that you can actually get those cookies. Uh, they're just files, just data, text. Um, once an attacker has that data, they can then go into another computer, their own computer, insert those cookies into their browser and then get access to everything that you have access to. Um, and there's only one way that you can prevent that from happening or um, at least give them uh, short access and that's to log out of your um, session. So as soon as you end a session with Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter, and, and what I mean by session is if you actually log out, like you physically go to your account, click log out, that will terminate the cookie. So anyone else who also has that cookie um, will also be logged out. So um, let's just demonstrate how to do this very quickly. So I've got this, uh, uh, it's just a makeup account called Alex, and um, he's logged into LinkedIn. And then over here, I've got another browser, which uh, is at the LinkedIn sign-in page. So if, if I was an attacker and I was able to get access to your cookies, so I can just use this little cookie uh, extension that I've got here, and I'm just gonna export those cookies. It copies that to the clipboard. And then I can go over to my hacker machine or you know whatever computer is using, and I'm going to import the cookies from this browser. So I'll just paste that there. Click import. Those have been imported. And then all I need to do is just refresh the browser. And now I'm now logged in as Alex on that browser. I didn't need a password. I didn't need two-factor authentication. I didn't need anything. Um, just that data is all I needed. Just that cookie importing that into the browser, and I'm now in Alex's uh, LinkedIn account. Now let's see what happens if I go back to Alex and I'll log out. So I'll sign out of his account, and then we'll refresh our page over here. The hacker now has lost his access because that cookie has been destroyed. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it, uh, and this can apply to many other sites uh, as well. So. Um, I mean, you can feel free to test this out with your own sites. I'm not really teaching you how to steal people's cookies. Um, you know, there's no attacks there. Uh, so uh, hopefully YouTube's a bit nicer to me this time. But um, again, strictly educational purposes. I want you guys to be aware of the dangers that are out there um, and what you're facing and what you should be doing. So again, to protect yourself from this, uh, regularly log out of sessions that you're in. Um, particularly if you click a by accident a malicious link, um, if you get some sort of weird Java pop-ups or something, I know Java's been taken away from browsers these days. Uh, if you recently had malware on your computer, um, things like that. So I hope this has been educational and I hope you can still see this after it's posted <laughs> um, for, you know, for a few weeks at least. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, so let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and um, let me know what you think. Until next time, goodbye.